Hey, thanks again for sticking around for more Explore Tulsa. Yeah, and we have something that's going to be so yummy for the tummy. We sure do, Stevie, as we stop downtown at Mod to visit with Rusty Rowe. Gelato and crepes. Now that's some serious downtown renovation. We first had the idea to do crepes. Um, when we looked in this area, we noticed there wasn't a crepery around. And when I lived in Vancouver for a short while, there was one right around the corner. And we thought that'd be a great thing to add to downtown Tulsa. I mean, they're still fast, just like a sandwich shop. And we thought it'd be a nice addition. Crepes originated from Brittany, France, and they were originally done by heating up a stone and just pouring the batter on the top, and it would kind of thin itself out over this round stone. And now here we use a tool to actually thin it out on a flat griddle that's easily cleanable rather than doing it on rocks. We use a really, really simple batter. It's just a few ingredients, and um, we made sure that the crepe itself tastes good. So then, once you have that kind of as a base, we can put like anything that the flavor combination is good inside of it will work with the crepe. It's kind of like a pizza place. If, if the dough isn't good, it doesn't matter what you put in it. But when the dough's on, then you can play with ingredients and find really fun flavors. Uh, we don't use any sugar in our batter either, so we can use them to make savory crepes as well as sweet crepes. I also thought, well, what else is something that's not really fulfilled in downtown? And that's, uh, so we did gelato. It's not a lot of ice cream in downtown, and especially not gelato, which is better than ice cream. Gelato is an Italian form of making uh, ice cream. And it, the way we do it, we don't use any butter fat, we don't use eggs, and we don't use heavy creams. Um, half of the flavors in the case are completely dairy-free. They're just fruit, water, and sugar and the other half we just use regular whole milk. So we cut out a lot of the calories that way, but we get an intense flavor and still get a good consistency by extracting the air. So when you make gelato, you actually like push it down as it's freezing to push all the air out of it, rather than churning it, which whips air in like ice cream. That's why it needs all the fat to thicken up. So we take the fat out and extract the air as well. So you still get a thick, intense, flavorful product um, without all the calories. So you don't even have to feel bad about it. So we took those two ideas and themed it after a movement that happened in mid-century England called the Mods. And we used that kind of because we were doing an Italian thing and a French thing. So we went with the, like an English and just made a kind of European cafe feel to it. And so far it's been a lot of fun. I was born here and raised here, my family's here, and I've seen the downtown grow and become more like those other cities that people seem to leave to a lot. And um, after my wife graduated, we had, a, we had a choice to make. Do we move to one of those cities that are already kind of set up, or do we stay the place that raised us and contribute to its growth? And we thought it was just more important to stay here and bring a little bit of that from those other cities back here to the place that brought us up. It just seemed better. It seemed more right there than just, just moving to there and being like, oh, they're walkable. They have grocery stores. They have all this stuff. And I'd rather stay here and make our downtown more like those so other people can enjoy it that were also born and raised here like me. And now we're starting to get some of that stuff. So, I mean, we're getting there and I'd rather be a part of growing it and making it what I wished it would have been when I was younger than just moving away and being complacent. I worked in restaurants since I was like 15. I started as a busboy in a Mexican restaurant and I just kept doing that while I was going through school. Went to school for business, always thought I'd do something else. I just kept working in restaurants. I bartended, I was a manager of one, um, then I just got to a Point where I'm like this is the best way for me to make people happy you know it's just the thing that I seem to excel at so I decided when the opportunity came to just open my own place and um, I've had a lot of fun and it seems to make people happy people seem to enjoy it